Hi everybody, welcome to our week one practice. For today's class, you might need a couple of yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, a couple of books similar size will also work. And then also, a pillow could help. Last thing, maybe, we might need a rolled up yoga mat. So for the first stretch, we're gonna do a passive squat. Three different options. Option number one. Option number one, you're gonna to come to your door frame, take your feet as wide as your hips, and then sink down into as low of a squat that you can. Think about driving your knees out to the sides, let your head drop down, and you're using your hands for support. Option two, you're gonna take a rolled up yoga mat, placing the rolled up yoga mat just beside your yoga mat. You're gonna place your heels on top with your feet hip width apart, and your feet slightly turning out, drop as low into a squat, that works for you. The fourth and final option is gonna be your standard passive squat. So taking a way, mat, and then just planting your feet so that your big toe, little toe and heel presses into the floor, sink down, 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 and we'll begin. We're gonna stay here for three minutes, Think about your knees driving out to the sides, pressing into your feet, let your head drop down. From here, we're gonna practice our bre yoga breathing, which is gonna be our four A-count yoga breathing practice. Let's try a couple of rounds together. Inhaling through your nose. Exhaling mouth. Inhale, breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale, breath. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Remembering when any of these stretches, we're looking for a five out of 10 stretching intensity. Something that where we can go into the stretch and hold for that prolonged three minute time we're already gone through our first minute. Again, we don't wanna feel any sharp shooting pains. If you're feeling any sharp shooting pains, just move it back a step. Maybe placing the yoga mat under your heels, or if you're holding onto the wall, maybe coming slightly a little bit higher up, finding that five out of 10 stretch, and then right back into your breath. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, mouth. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out, mouth. So a passive squat, a squat like this, is quite a normal position for most adults. But through many things such as driving, sitting down, working at a desk all day long, our hips get very, very tight. This range of motion, we're working hip flexion, and we're also working a slight little bit of lateral rotation. Once again, just let the head nice and loose and relaxed. We're here for our final 20 seconds, before we move into our next position. One more breath. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. From here, we're gonna slowly Slowly come out, pressing onto your feet, strong legs, let your head drop down. Slowly, 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 start to unravel all the way up to stand. Great job, everybody, that's our first stretch. Moving on to our next stretch, we're gonna to come to all fours. Now, a couple of props here. You might take a pillow and maybe place the pillow underneath your back, let's say a right knee to begin with. 
Also, you could take your books or your yoga blocks and prop them underneath your hands. Again, this is just gonna make it a little bit more of a comfortable stretch for you. Here in this blaster pose, we're gonna aim for three minutes each side. When we're ready, we're gonna take a step forwards with our left leg, starting our timer, either placing hands on the block, start to work your hips a little bit more forwards. With your left foot, you could take it a little bit more out to the side, and you could let your foot maybe go onto a knife edge, or maybe let your foot turn out to the side, whatever feels good. With your back foot, I want you to point your toes so the top of your foot rests on the floor. Maybe your hands are wrapped over the blocks. Maybe you take the blocks away, and again, just find what works best for you when you're ready. We come right back into our breathing practice. Inhaling nose. Exhaling mouth. In this position, we're working hip extension in our back leg. And again, we're working hip flexion like in the squat with a little bit of lateral rotation once again. Try to draw hips into one line. Focus on your hips sinking forwards and down. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. We use this style of breathing to bring ourselves into a deep state of relaxation. Muscles stretch best when relaxed. And using this 4A count breath, we're using to shift into our parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system. As much as possible, once you find that five out of 10 stretching sensation, whatever that is for you, try to hold on and keep breathing in that zone. Again, we're looking for no sharp shooting pains. If you're feeling anything like this, I want you to back out slowly, but as much as possible, if you can, Try to stay with us here. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your mouth. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're breathing in through our nose and we breathe out through our mouth using that ha sound. Just like that, we're done. We're coming back to an all fours position and then straight away we're gonna move into our second side. So, setting up our timer once again. This time we're gonna take a step forwards with our right foot. Remember, you can use that pillow under your back knee if you need to. And again, you can use your blocks. I'm gonna use the blocks as a demonstration. Here, you wrap your fingers over the tops of the blocks and it just gives a little rest for your wrists. Again, now with our hips, we're thinking about drawing our left hip forwards. We're drawing our right hip back. You can come right up onto the knife edge of your right foot if that's comfortable. Even taking that foot a little bit more out to the side if that what works best for you. Breathing in, one, two, three, four. Breath out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You keep stretching. So again, our goal is for the next six weeks to get into the habit of doing these stretches the last thing before bed. So right before bed, 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna roll out your yoga mat, you're gonna switch on this video and get straight into your stretches. Again, this first video you're going to watch and you're gonna practice along too for the first seven days. After those seven days, I'm gonna upload a new video 
with three different stretches working on the different areas around our hip. Mostly we're going to be working our hips through hip extension and flexion. We're going to be working hip adduction, which is knee towards the body, and adduction, which is away from the midline. And also a couple of other little stretches. And we'll be mixing and matching all the while trying to think about stretching without pain. Here we go, inside of our final minute. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhaling. Exhaling. In these asymmetric poses, if you feel like one side is a little bit tighter than the other, by all means, feel free to stay on the tighter side and maybe add on an extra minute. One more breath here together. Inhaling nose. Exhaling mouth. From here, stepping back onto all fours, slowly lower onto one side, punch a little bit above the knee, below the knee, right leg above the knee, below the knee, and we're done. Remembering, we're gonna use these stretches. Try to do the stretches seven days. Again, we're gonna use these three stretches for the first week or so. Next, we're gonna move on. So, get stretching, best of luck, and talk to you soon.